welcome to Roll and Review, a channel for all things nerdy and awesome. I'm Alex. And I'm Jim. And this week in movies, we've got a few headlines going on, and one of the big ones is that uh, Ben Affleck has already completed his script for his solo Batman movie, and hasn't been told what it is, we don't know anything about it, but what do you think he's doing? <sighs> I think... Okay, this is mainly a hope... Because we literally have nothing, no, nothing from DC or anything saying this is what he wrote about. But I'm thinking maybe Under the Red Hood. Under the Red Hood? There's been a lot of speculation because he has stated that he really likes that storyline. Yeah. So I really think he might go for it. Especially with Robin's suit in Batman v Superman. Oh, yeah. That I think Under the Red Hood is where they're going to go. I don't know if they're going to do a prequel for Death in the Family. I think Under the Red Hood could really push the, the story forward. So I think that's the direction they're going to take it. Yeah, I, I think it's the direction they'll go. I'm wondering where it will land in the timeline of the DC Cinematic Universe. Um, because since we know the Wonder Woman movie is going to be a World War One or Two yes, movie. It's World War One. World War One movie. Yeah. So we already know they're they're not you know just moving forward with the timeline, but they're going to show us all the way back and forward. So I'm wondering where it will end up yeah. in that, and I'm I'm that, we'll that's what I'm worried about. With we'll it. find out soon because currently what the Wonder Woman movie is shooting in Italy right now. Yes. So they had they had a picture of the uh, like a set picture of them in the costumes. They look like well, Greek goddesses. That's the only really way to Which put I'm perfectly it. Fine with. Again, you wouldn't creep. Again. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Of course you don't. Uh, I just don't care. I know you don't care. All right, move on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to sit here and make you feel awkward about it. No, I don't feel awkward. I'm just thinking they might feel awkward. They're like, they just keep saying, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> and dislike and go. <laughs> Please yeah, don't well, dislike the video. Yeah, unless you're one of those people who really love Batman v Superman. I know it's you. <laughs> no, no, we don't, don't have that many views. I know it's you. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like 25 <laughs> views and we already have a dislike on that. Right? And they're like, yeah, nope, that's uh, <laughs> You really like that. Yeah, you're you just, going to like the movie. Because <laughs> you just like both our review and our spoiler discussion. Yeah. We know it's you. <laughs> the only... Please continue to watch our videos. Right? Maybe we'll prove you wrong with something else. No, they're just going to hit dislike again. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> fine. It means people are watching it, so... Alright, also another big thing with the DC Cinematic Universe is there's been uh, news bro... Uh, eh. There has been broking... Breaking news? There has been breaking news. I cannot talk. Or news broke. Either one. Thank you. I, was, I tried to combine the two and it didn't work <laughs> no <laughs> whatsoever. No. Okay, so there has been breaking news that the Suicide Squad movie has been... Did I say Suicide again? Uh, maybe. The Suicide Squad movie. The Suicide Squad movie is going through massive reshoots to make it funnier. Apparently after both the down and dreary Man of Steel and the darker than uh, something that's black... <laughs> Bad of Steel and uh, that would be super bad. I'm having so much darker than shit. something that's black. <laughs> I'm having, Your shirt. <laughs> I'm having some some issues right now. Oh. A piece of coal. Fine. The, the dark, night sky. The darker than Obsidian Batman v Superman. Yeah. I went fancy. Yeah, <laughs> and, you went fancy. And so they wanted to actually get some lightheartedness into their movies. Especially even the director of Aquaman has come out and stated that Aquaman is going to have some fun in it. Not every movie is going this dark and dreary route. Which I don't know why they picked the two Superman movies to go dark and dreary, but... I don't know. That's Batman's territory. But... Superman movie, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> Batman's territory. Like, Batman's dark and brooding. Come on. We yeah, know this. so hopefully they'll learn from the backlash so they can actually make some critically acclaimed movies. I'm tired of these mixed movies. I want them to be good. Yes, I know we kind of ranted on Batman v Superman. It's because <laughs> we want the movies to be good. We do not want horrible movies. No. We don't want movies that only some people like. I want a movie that everyone's going to go and, like, this movie was amazing. Exactly. That's the reason why we were angry about you know the movies that fail because we wanted it, we wanted it we were hoping for so long that it would, would be good do even you, despite our own speculations we hoped it would be good do you really think we didn't want batman v superman to be amazing if you thought that 
something is wrong with you because everybody wanted that movie to right? be good. Heck, we gave suggestions on how to make it better and how to make everybody's it. Everybody's been giving know, suggestions. So many suggestions. Um, but yeah, I also heard with uh, back to Suicide Squad. Um, I also heard that the decision to reshoot and make it lighter was also due to the fact that um, they got a lot of good feedback from the, the trailers. Trailers. It also said that every joke in the movie was in the trailer. That's and not good. So they had to reshoot because you, every single joke was in the yeah, trailer. But you can't make a trailer that is basically based on comedy. And that'd be all the... People are going to go into that movie expecting one thing, and then they're going to leave disappointed, which, unless that's the thing DC's going for, because they're doing an A-plus stellar job with that <laughs> so far. But, <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I am... So I hope these reshoots make sense, and they're not just kind of shoehorned in. So we're going to see about that. Yeah, I mean, again, we're hearing this news, but at the same time, we're, we're not seeing much of anything... No new trailers, no nothing like that, and so... But get ready for the new line of Aquaman hairstyle products. <laughs> it, it, it waves in the wind, nice, just like water. Water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> His hair is pretty. Also, there's also been news going around that Tom Hiddleston will do Thor 3, and that's going to be it for that actor in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, I hope not. I think he's been one of the best parts of the MCU, especially when it comes to the villain side. Granted, he's the only good villain that Marvel's really had. So I hope he did yes. not go away. Um, I'm okay with it. And not because I don't like Tom Hiddleston. Don't get me wrong there. I love Tom Hiddleston. I like Loki. But he got kind of put in a whole bunch of things that he didn't necessarily need to be put into. He's been in three things. Um, I know, and he should have been in, like, Thor. <laughs> um, like, he shows up in... They could make better villains. We don't need Loki to be the villain across the... That's true. You know, but okay, we, in, we saw him in He's been in, in the, three movies. He, he's been in Thor, Avengers, and Thor 2. That's it. Was he not in Age of Ultron? Nope. I thought he was. He was cut. For, his scene was cut. Oh, that's right. So he was supposed to be in that. But then it didn't. And apparently his scene would have made more sense. So he would have... And it wasn't even being a villain. He was talking with Thor. So it wasn't like... I, I know. I'm just saying, like... It's fine. Like, we we don't need Loki in more movies. Like, we had him as a villain in two Thors. No. We had him as a villain in Avengers. How many more times do you want to put him in movies? Because unless we stop it here, which... Tom Hiddleston's totally fine with. He wants this. Like, no, he didn't then, say he wanted it. He said that's what happened. Because he went on and stated that he doesn't know what's going on. He would like to continue in the MCU, but even uh, Marvel and Disney haven't told him yet. So that's where we're standing on that. Right. But uh, what I'm saying, like... No, you said so, he wanted it, but that's So, nice. no, what, what I was saying earlier was that, like, we've already had him a crap ton of times. They gave us Ultron, which was just a... Pre trailer for more MCU movies. Or nah, something that's failed. true. There, um, there was good parts. In it. It good parts. This is a different conversation. Yeah, that's no, there were good parts, but like that was what the one movie he like the one big movie he wasn't in um, with like the team, and like we're going to have Thanos, and we we're having them fight each other. We don't need to then come full circle back around to. Loki again. Well, he doesn't need to be a villain. He's especially in Thor too. He's playing more of an anti-hero role. So, and that's what Loki does. He doesn't have to be the main villain. He's just that one person there who likes to mess with people. But, yeah, but how many more Thor movies are they gonna make? Because well, Thor two f f uh, fell flat on its face. Yeah, but Thor three also has the Hulk in it. I know because it's Ragnarok. That should be a great movie. But yeah. what I'm saying is like we don't need like we don't need ten more movies with Loki. I'm not saying we it's, do. Right, but you're, you're but you're, I'm saying you're, Infinity War when they bring the entire MCU together, he'd be a good character to have to help bolster their rosters because the MCU is not as big as the Marvel comics, and you yeah, need rosters. I, they're they're not having. They've already confirmed like 67 heroes for Infinity Gauntlet. They don't need more. Okay, but how many <laughs> villains do they have in that? It's Thanos. <laughs> okay, like that's who they're going up against. But they're it's going still up against be going on to have one of the main. T characters that you've had in the universe so far being with everyone going in. Especially, you can kill him off. If you want him done, kill Loki. And maybe they will in Ragnarok. 
That very well might be what happens in Ragnarok. We haven't seen Ragnarok, so we're, we're speculating right now. I know, Let me I'm, speculate. And, and I'm saying we don't need him in a, in a bunch more movies. I'm saying, like, if they're done with him at Ragnarok, great, fine. We've seen him then in four different movies. He's been... He was the villain in three of them. Like, we don't need to keep replaying the same villains over and over again because that gets monotonous, it gets boring, and we need to move on. That's why I'm saying not to cast him as a villain. Just have him be another player in Infinity War. Have him have, be able to let him have some fun with it. Like, let him go be the trickster if he's not killed off in Ragnarok. Let him be the trickster. Let him not having to be the main antagonist. Let him just create problems along the way for everyone just because he thinks it's funny. Yeah, but when it comes, like, Loki pops up in, like, Thor's world and whatnot. He's always, he always has something evil and terrible going on. I mean, heck, he, in the current run, he showed up, he was the villain with Melek, then all of a sudden he was, like, on uh, Freya's side. Yeah, and, and then he he stabs Freya and like is like, nope, I'm actually like terribly evil. Like that's just who he is. He'll trick you into thinking he's good, but he always has some terrible plan in the background to take over. He does. So and like, you can't do the character without making him at least in some but aspect. Seeing, but seeing a as main how villain. Thanos has like continuity wise, seeing as Thanos has already made has already worked with Loki, you'd think he'd bring him back at least do something. You'd think Thanos would either be really pissed off at Loki for failing miserably in adventures, or he like, you're a decently powerful Asgardian. Mine. I'm using you. Oh, he you to recognize someone else is powerful. <laughs> he needs a lackey to get Infinity Stones, especially someone who can get close to Thor. Well, not necessarily. Heck, he, I mean, literally in the end uh, credit scene with him, he just went, I guess I'll do it, and he grabs the gauntlet. It's so it's even him saying, like, I'm just gonna go do this now. He doesn't need anyone else. Yeah, but you know that's not gonna how it's go down. You're not just gonna have 68 people on Thanos. That's not gonna happen. It might happen. That's the fan fiction that you created in your basement, Jim. No, no, it's... <laughs> that's... When, once he has the all the Infinity Stones, you're gonna need everyone you I mean, got. Okay, that's but <laughs> I'm saying up to it. It's not just gonna be Infinity War. I got everything. Fight. That's not gonna be the movie. There's gonna be build up and having. Well, of course, because it's two parts. Or even be fun if you want to kill him. Then have him try to take the stone out of Vision and have Vision just roast him. <laughs> and then if only. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm all I'm saying is I'm totally fine with his contract being up and no more Loki. That's all I was trying to say. I do think he's one of the brighter points of. Oh. The MCU, so I hope he does. That's because they haven't right. just they just haven't developed a great villain. And that is yeah. true. So I think so until I think, they do. I think well, Civil War, you don't really need too much of a villain because they're gonna be fighting each other. You don't that's get, just gonna be there fantastic. Is, well we still don't know anything about Baron Zemo, so Exactly. That's gonna be I wonder how they're gonna do that. I think I mean, he's just, the one who's setting up uh, Bucky. Probably. That's yeah. gonna be and he's trying to pit them against each other to have to have all the people who can stop him kill each other so exactly. that's what he's trying to do yeah and that could be really good and I, and Thanos especially in Infinity Gauntlet like he can be that ridiculously awesome villain that can take over for two movies yeah. <laughs> and just yep we're we're captured we love it give us more it's gonna be fun all right, and one of the last things I want to talk about is uh, Tim Miller, the director of Deadpool, came out and said there was going to be an alternate version of the end credits, and which is actually even more meta for how meta the movie already is, <laughs> is they were, instead of doing like the animation credits that they did, they were going to do an actual Honest trailer, coming from Screen Junkies' Honest Trailers on YouTube. They were going to do an actual Honest trailer, getting the Screen Junkies involved for the end credits of the movie. Mm -hmm. And... Especially having the opening credits just how it was, I thought that would have been really funny and really fitting. Oh my gosh. It it would have been awesome. I, I'm not going to say it would be better than what they had, because what they had was awesome too. Yeah. But, I mean, the, those are two gems of ideas. Yeah. Well, <laughs> seeing as how the Screen Junkies are trying to get uh, Ryan Reynolds to be the narration for their Deadpool on his trailer, yeah. support him, go try to con tweet at Ryan Reynolds, make him do it. I feel like we'd be able to compare what would happen and see which one is better. Oh, yeah. And we're going to get both, so we can't really complain. Exactly. And let's be honest, Ryan Reynolds will do what the fans tell him to do, hence there being a Deadpool movie. And I think he'll just have fun with it. 
Oh, yeah. It's just oh, more opportunity for him to have fun. Oh, easily. All right. Uh, anything else you want to talk about? Uh, no, I think that's about it this week. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button down below. Uh, please subscribe if you want to you know, continue watching us and get the updates when we upload new videos. And we'll see you soon.